Yo, what's going on guys? Abby here. Today, I want to talk about potential weapon changes that can maybe be added. More specifically, I want to talk about stars. You guys know how stars can only give you three potential buffs, either to weight, penetration, or damage? Well, today I want to talk about some new ones that might bring some diversity to the weapons. Now, before I continue on with the video, I want to say that these ideas come courtesy of Hi Dude, who is generous enough to let me make a video on his ideas. I just want to say that beforehand so that you guys know that all credit goes to him. Anyways, on to all the new potential buffs that stars could give you. The first idea is a new buff called Ethereal and here's what it would do. What this buff would do is make it so that when you land an M1, you gain more ether than you normally would. So for example, say you had one star ethereal on your weapon, right? Now, every time you land an M1, you're getting a bit more ether than normal. And if you have two star ethereal, you gain a bit more per M1 and etc. I also think this is a really simple but cool idea since realistically, everyone nowadays just uses three star damage. So having a new buff that actually might be useful is really interesting. I also don't think this would be too overpowered since the stars on your weapons aren't meant to give you too big of a buff anyways. And an extra small amount of ether will not break the game up next i want to tell you guys about a buff that would be called a tune now this one's a little more tough to explain so let me break it down you guys know how dawn fist ring gives you a bit of extra scaling on your weapon based off your strength right and maestro's ring gives you an extra bit of scaling based off your speed this stat would basically do that but put it directly onto your weapon so say for example i had a curve blade of winds with one star attuned right it would scale off medium weapon gale breath and any other stat so let's say for example charisma but in reality it could be strength agility or anything else basically this buff makes it so your weapon scales off another stat alongside what it already normally scaled off of, if that makes any sense. And obviously, having two or three star attuned would just make it scale off of that one new stat a bit more. Now, you guys might be thinking that this would be a direct replacement to the damage star buff, since damage buffs your damage, and attuned would also buff your damage. But this isn't the case for two reasons. One, there are six main stats in Deep Woken. Imagine trying to find a three star attuned weapon that lines up with the stats you have placed in your build. It's going to be a nightmare, right? I mean, Smith's Alloy might make it a bit easier, but it's not going to be easy. So a lot of the time, it might be better to just opt for damage buff. And two, we can make it so that you need a high amount in any stat for this buff to outperform the damage star buff. What I mean by that is if you don't have, for example, 75 or 80 in one specific stat, it is numerically, statistically better to use damage star buff instead of a tuned. Of course, if you do happen to have a high amount in any given stat, it would be better to use a tune. But if your build is more balanced, it's better to go for damage. And of course, as usual, the stars shouldn't be giving too big of a buff since they aren't meant to be that game changing. Now this last one's kind of a scorcher so listen up. This is a buff that would be called handling and here's what it would do. Having handling on your weapon would make it so that you need less stat points invested to equip the weapon. So for example if you had a shattered katana right that normally takes 100 medium to equip. Now take a shattered katana with one star handling on it. Now it'll only take 98 medium to equip. With two star handling it'll take 97 medium and with three star handling it'll take 95 medium to equip it. Now I know this one's pretty crazy but I personally think it's the coolest one of the three. Since there will now be builds that were completely impossible to actually exist. Like you could be going on build maker trying to make your build, right? And you'll be like, damn, I can't make this build. I don't have enough stat points. But if I used a handling weapon, I could actually make it possible. I just think it'd be really cool for people to be basing their builds off a star buff. And even though this could completely change how builds are made, it wouldn't be too game breaking since again, it's only five stat points max, which is not going to give you some overpowered talent. Anyways, that's going to be wraps for this video. Thank you very much again to Hi Dude for letting me make a video on this suggestion. I'll leave his discord down below in the comments so you guys can you know praise the guy because bro is low-key a genius but if you guys do have any comments or concerns please make sure to leave it down below since i'm always happy to discuss with you guys anyways what else is there to say peace out and watch us pickaxe this guy for the victory royale GG!